everyone, it is Jackie with Pocket of Preschool and tonight we are talking all about the writing center or writing table and some fun activities you can do or some fun ways to kind of spice up your writing center to make your kiddos want to go there, make it a fun place, a place where they go independently. It's not a struggle for them to, to like want to go there. We want to help them fall in love with writing. So. I'm going to give you tons of ideas. Obviously, take the things you love, forget the ones you don't like, and yeah, just make your writing center awesome. Um, I will say that I um, have my writing center in my classroom is right behind me. I have a table with these little chairs, which I'll tell you all about in just a minute. So my writing table is part of my library center. I have five centers in my classroom. I have blocks, art, discovery, library, and pretend. So my writing table is part of my library center. Um, so tell me in the comments how it works for you. Is your writing center part of your classroom? Is it a table? Is it included in a different center? Is it separate? Tell me, tell me all the things in the comments so we can get to know each other too as we chat tonight. So I'm gonna go through just like the, the basics of my writing center. So this is my writing center. I have these little stools there, whoops. I have three, so I have one, two, and then there's a third one on like that corner right there. Um, these are just little stools from Ikea. They're plastic, they're great, they're kind of like the perfect size. Um, and then this actual table is also from Ikea. It's a lac coffee table. So I think it's like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, something like super cheap. You can tell it's used a lot. There's marker all over it. Um, how I clean it is I, you know, just wipe it down and then I use, you know, those magic erasers. You can just use one of those and usually everything comes off, even um, the smelling markers and things. So I usually like deep clean it with the magic eraser about once a week because otherwise it would get completely covered in marker. Um, so that's the table. And then behind it, I just have, this is literally a pocket chart. I don't know if you can, oh, I'm moving the wrong side. So it's literally a pocket chart stapled to the wall and I put a double border around it to kind of make it pop. Um, the pocket chart is from Amazon. Borders are from the teacher store by me, like a local one, but you can grab any kind of borders you want. Um, if you, um, and then I always have themed writing cards in there. Um, so obviously we're doing a pet theme right now. So those are the ones we have in there right now. Um, I teach three, four and five year olds. So my three year olds are really working on those uppercase. And then I also have lowercase um, word cards too, usually on a ring in the front um, of the writing paper. Um, and then in all of my math and literacy writing center units, there is um, themed vocabulary cards. Um, an uppercase and a lowercase, and then there's also themed paper. So with every theme, I also put out themed writing paper um, in my in the, my center bundles that comes in a half sheet, which I like the half sheet for preschool and pre-K, um, just because it it's kind of like the perfect size. It's not too big. They're not wasting paper. Um, and then I just copy it on Astro Brights to kind of make it pop. Um, so I have the themed writing paper. Um, I have some envelopes back here so they can write cards. And then these are letter charts that I have. These are in my journal um, pack from my TBT store. So these are there as well um, for support. So those are the things that are always there. Like I said, I change out the word cards and the writing paper um, based, I have like a gnat in here, um, based on our learning theme. Um, and really quick, I want to say that the writing center, I think, is a really important place in your classroom because kiddos need time to write, just like they need time with books. They need time to write where it's not a small group or it's not centers or not like a, this is like our specific writing time. If that's, if that's what you have, then that's awesome. But I think during independent centers, I think it's really important too because 
kiddos need time to write. And for our kiddos, they really need time to draw because our kiddos, a lot of them are doing that scribble, that mock writing right now. Um, so they need those time, that they need that time to just write and draw and express themselves. Um, just like they need time with books, they need time to write whatever they want, not to a prompt, not what you tell them to. They need just time to write and a time to express themselves. So just make sure you've set up an awesome writing center so that way they have that time in your classroom. And then sometimes I will say, um, if a kiddos are really excited about the writing center or if I wanna get a writing sample, what I do is I take the themed paper and I, I basically set up the writing center as a morning arrival activity. So I'll put the word cards in the middle of the table, I'll put the writing paper, I'll just put one in each spot, and then I'll literally take these buckets and I will just put them on the table and then I will use that and they can just write or draw whatever they want. I don't tell them what to do. Um, and then I get a, an authentic writing simple that way for their portfolios and for me to use with my assessments. That way it's not something extra. It's just I'm grabbing this, putting it on the table for table time, and then I'm um, keeping it for their portfolio. So that's an idea for you too if you need an authentic writing assessment. There you go. So some of the things that I'll, you'll also see on my table are buckets. I love buckets. You can get them at Target, Hobby Lobby, all the places. Um, but I love these buckets just because one, they can put them in the middle, they're easy to share, you can take them to the table, they can write on the floor if the writing table's full. They're super, super awesome. Um, oh, somebody's asking about the paper holder. So this is a plastic, um, I, I want to say um, it is a plastic vertical paper holder. So just look on Amazon. I'll try and put one on a link at the end um, or after we're done. I'll put a link for you guys. Um, and my link to my Amazon storefront too is at the top. So I think there's one there as well. Um, but anyways, these buckets are usually like a dollar a piece. I, I do sometimes change out the colors for different themes. But I always have regular markers. And I have the different colors. So it's like the bold colors, I think, in the regular ones. You know those ones that are a dollar during back to school? I have those. I always have their names. So on one side is uppercase, and on the other side is lowercase, and it has their picture. <laughs> um, these, uh, this is a freebie in my TBT store. I always, always have this, and it's a really easy way to differentiate because you have uppercase and lowercase on both sides, so they can use the one that is appropriate for them. And then I always have these family word cards. Oh my gosh, my sniffles. And then I always have these event word cards. So these are a freebie. So if you get my newsletter every week, you don't have to email me for it, every week at the very, very bottom of my newsletter, it says, do you, if you need the Writing Center freebie, download it again here. If you want to grab the freebie Writing Center, go up to the top of this post, sign up. If you are not, for some reason, getting my newsletter, a lot of times it's because you haven't opened it in a while. So search Pocket of Preschool um, and you will usually be able to find it or you never click confirm. So when you sign up, sign up, you'll get an email and you'll have to click confirm and then it will come to you. Um, but usually, every time I usually check somebody's, it's coming to you, but you haven't opened it in a while, so just do that search for it. Um, so yeah, but this is in there. So these are family word cards. So these are the words that are important to them, right? They are like mom and dad and grandma and grandpa, all of those, aunt, uncle. And I have, again, uppercase and lowercase. And then I also have event word cards. So all the things that they need for when they're writing for like a real authentic purpose, which is what we want. Um, we want them to be writing for real reasons that are um, important for them. Happy birthday, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, thank you, Happy Easter, Thanksgiving, I love you, Happy Father's Day, Happy Mother's Day, Happy St. Patrick's Day, Happy Valentine's Day. So basically, if um, I'm sorry, um, get well. So basically, if there's a reason to make a card, it's in here. Um, because again, we want them writing for a real reason. We want them writing like for an authentic purpose. And these are perfect for that. So these are always in my writing center. And then the writing tool. Oh, I usually always have some kind of stickers too. And here is my tip with stickers. So if you just put out the big sheets, they'll probably use all of them. 
if what I do is I usually use these little ones, the ones that come in like little circle packs, um, or the, like the dollar ones that are like um, in the Target dollar spot, or um, what's it called? At Michael's. You can find um, dollar stickers that are themed. Um, I can just cut them up into small little sections because they won't use as many if they are um, in a little little section. Um, so that's my trick for you. If your kiddos are going through stickers, cut them up so they're smaller and then just put them in a little bucket. And these I want to say tar or these little buckets for Target dollar spot too. Um, but stickers are great for fine motor. They put them on there. Sometimes they like connect the dot to draw pictures around them. But I usually have some kind of themed stickers as well. And then I switch out the writing tools because we want it. We want them to keep coming to the writing center. We want to make it exciting and fun. Um, some things my kids are, are loving right now. And a lot of the stuff I buy during back to school when it's on sale or after back to school is over when everything's on clearance. I buy it usually during one of those two times. Um, smelly markers. So I actually use the smelly markers for me first. And when they get where they're not like writing pretty, then I give them to my kiddos because then they can destroy them and it's fine. <laughs> um, so smelly markers, they love. Um, and then they also love skinny markers, which skinny markers are great because it actually helps with their pencil grasp more than a thick marker would. Um, so yeah, so right now we have skinny markers and smelly markers. And then some other fun things you can put out are pens. Kiddos love pens because you can be like, oh, these are my teacher pens. Here's some fun to put out. They can click them, they can write like crazy. Um, highlighters, these are really fun. They love writing with highlighters. Obviously colored pencils are fun. The colored pencils with the erasers are fun. They're called like erasable pencils. Um, these are the little terracotta, I don't even think I'm saying that right, but the little terracotta golf pencils. These are fun to put out. I always call them my like kindergarten pencils. Um, those are fun. If your kiddos love glitter, which I don't know what kiddos don't love glitter, Crayola makes metallic crayons. So they're like glittery and sparkly. They also make a glitter crayon. So they basically just have glitter in them. And let's see what else. Oh, if you put out black paper, put out some white crayons um, to, wipe, to write on the black paper. And then, so you're probably wondering like how does she have all this? Like where is it at? So literally I have this it just in a cabinet and I, I literally just took it out of the cabinet. Like these were in this container already. So I literally have stuff in like really weird random buckets or containers. That way I can just grab it and put it out or switch it out super easy. Or if I wanna use these for like a table time activity, I can do that super simple too. So just switching out the writing tools um, is huge, or finding what your kiddos like to write with is super fun. Another fun thing that is really fun to put out, especially if they're not going there all of a sudden, or if you have threes, this is really good for them too. Um, just put out, just cut up letters. So these are from my fine motor journal pack. So I have an uppercase bucket, a lowercase bucket, and then I have a number bucket. And again, these are like, I literally just wrote all, if you don't have my fine motor journal packet, just type all the letters on one page and then just cut them apart. Super simple, but then they can just glue the letters, make letter collages. So even though they're not writing, they're still making and exploring letters just in a different way. So cut up paper letters works. You can also use foam letters, um, like from Michaels or Discount School Supply or like Lakeshore probably has like those foam letters you can get in the craft section. Put those in your writing center with some glue sticks and let them glue all the letters on. Because it's still writing, it's just, it just looks different because they're instead of actually writing the letters, they're gluing it on the paper. Another fun thing you can do is, where's my extra bucket? So sometimes, in, oh, here, you can see it over here. So can you see it? Nope, I'm sorry. Hold on, let me move it a little bit. Do, do, do. Okay, so over here, and I have my bookshelf right here. 
So it kind of like leans so that way it doesn't fall over. I will put different things in this little tub. Like right now we're doing a pet theme, so I put shopping lists just on clip. That's why I have it <laughs> against the bookshelf because it falls over. Um, so I just put this in on clipboards so that way they can make a shopping list for um, for their pet in the writing center. So another real reason to write. And again, these are just those like book bins from like the Target dollar spot and they just fit so perfect in my writing center. <laughs> as long as I don't knock everything over, we're good. Um, so yeah, so they're just like literally like right here. So you can put different things in that bin. So some things you could put in there are writing mats. So these are those mats that are a freebie in my store and I have their name in uppercase and lowercase. You can tell this little guy, he did his name in uppercase, lowercase, and then he did it himself in the middle. And right now I just have these in my writing center, but if you wanted, you could literally take your whole class make one for everybody, put them in here. And then uh, one thing I love about these little book things is a bucket fits in here kind of perfect. And then you can put the markers. And I use black, I cut up a black shirt for my dry erase marker and my erasers just because they don't get, look gross because it's a black shirt. No, it's not messy. But just take this and then I have every kiddo in here and then just put it in your writing center against the wall. So super simple. Um, and that way, you know, they love their names. Um, just, I have everybody in here. And then you're good to go. And then it's just something fun, something new at the writing center. And again, just, just keep changing it up. If they're not using something, if you see them not going to the writing center, put something else there. So another thing that's fun are chalkboards. So these are a DIY I made. Um, and then I also love these little, what are these, like little party cups. These are also perfect to put in the bucket. And I just have a little pile of chalk. And I usually put um, an eraser in there with it. Ooh, somebody said they bought black socks for erasers. That's super smart. Super, super smart. So these I made, so these are trays from the Dollar Tree. And then all I did was I sanded them a little bit. Do this outside because it makes like weird metal flakes and I might have messed up my kitchen table a little bit. So do it outside, <laughs> words the wise. So just sand this um, and then I put black chalkboard paint on it and I just love rainbow. You don't have to put ribbons in the corner. I just did it to look pretty. And now you have chalkboards for a dollar a piece plus whatever the chalkboard um, paint costs. I actually had it. Um, so yeah, and then I just have little chalk so they can get their chalkboards out and they can write on a chalkboard in the writing center. So that is another fun thing you can do. You can also do dry erase boards. Again, just put them in a bin with a bucket of dry erase markers, put it in there and it's just an option or a choice. As you know, I have things, I'm surrounded by stuff. Mirrors are another fun option. These are from, like, I think either Discount School Supply or Lakeshore, I can't remember. But you can write on them with a dry erase marker. Hello. And then they erase. So they're great for that. Um, so yeah, perfect for the writing center. They're really fun if you're doing like a space theme or I'm um, all about me. They can draw themselves. They can hold it up and then they can try and draw themselves in the mirror. Um, they can draw, write words, draw pictures, anything. Again, we just want to get them writing and drawing and expressing themselves and their feelings. Um, these, somebody's asking where the buckets are from. The buckets I get either at Hobby Lobby or Target Dollar Spot. Those are where the buckets are. And I have giant stacks. Because <laughs> I use them for all kinds of stuff. Um, stamps. So letter stamps are fun. I know some people get those like 
tool, those like tool organizers, the little plastic drawers, and they put um, letter stickers on them so each letter has their own. Sometimes I'll just put these and I, I just put them in the middle and then I'll put a stamp pad on the top of it, just like that so they can open it up and they can do letters with stamps. And again, oh, and I forgot to tell you, they don't ever have to use the word cards. They don't have to use the name cards. They don't have to do anything. It's really what they want to write, what's important to them at the time. Totally, totally um, their choice. As long as they're writing and making letters and drawing, I'm a happy teacher. So these are from Amazon, and these are linked in my Amazon storefront, which is at the top of this post. I also love, so these little trays are from the Dollar Tree. So I know a lot of my and other people's um, math and literacy center packs have these little different types of lines. So what they do is they just trace them with the dry erase marker and then they can erase, erase, erase. But these usually fit pretty good in these little dollar store trays. So then you can just put those like right in the front. So it's just another way to get them writing and making all those different types of lines. These are from my pond center pack that I just released like last month, I think. Um, so yeah, so just put them in the little, put um, anything, any traceable like printables you have, put them in a little tray or a little basket um, and just put them out because again, just something different to write and draw. Just gotta keep that, you know, excitement and change it up because we know how easy they can, um, they can get bored. Another fun thing I, you can do are writing trays. So you guys know I have, I have one out in my, right over there is my like library shelf. So this is the writing, writing tray I have out for my pet center pack. And I, you can tell we're doing numbers this time. So they just make the number in the bird seed and I don't have any allergies, so it's okay. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Um, cause there's peanut and, um, and there's nuts in bird seed. So if you have a nut allergy, don't use bird seed in your classroom. But if we, if I have writing trays at my table, I usually put them in a pencil box. That way I can just kind of stack them up. You can't see it. But that way I can just, that way I can just kind of stack them. Um, and that way if they get like bumped and everything while they're getting supplies, they don't get spilled. <coughs> so you can just grab some letter cards again this is my pond center pack I'm, I have it out because I want to do a blog post for you guys so I was like oh, I'll just grab these so I love these little bowls because you can just look you can put them in there and you can still close it and then they can just take it out and then they can make the letter in the sand tray or if you're doing sight words these are those little, um, there's Ziploc brand trays. I keep my mini erasers in them. You can keep these with sight words on them. Again, this is my pond center stack, but they can write their sight words at their writing table in a sand tray. And again, they can just put it all back and it can close. So that way when they're doing all of this <laughs> and reaching and doing all that around each other, nothing is spilling. All right. Oh, somebody asked where my shirt's from. This shirt is from jane.com. I love that site. It's a whole bunch of online boutiques. Um, I will link it when we're done. Um, the giant ink pad. So these are from my local teacher store, but I want to say Discount School Supply and Lakeshore has these. Um, but my trick is, because I think they dry up fast. Will you guys tell me if yours dry up fast too? What I do is I literally take my water... I'll take a water bottle and I'll squirt it twice and just kind of take a stamp and stamp around it and I feel like it like freshens it up and if you ever run out of ink in these you can tell I've done it with mine um just squirt liquid watercolor in it um and it kind of refreshes it I think I've had these for like four years and just by spraying water in it and not a lot just like one or two sprays um and then again just squirt um, liquid water liquid watercolor in it to kind of add some more ink but I've had these like for four years and they haven't dried out I think they dry out easy because there's not a very good lid on them but I like them because they're giant and a lot of kids can share 
So I think these are Lakeshore or Discount School Supply. I'll look um, after we're done and I'll, I'll pop in the, um, the link. And I typically always use blue for my big letter stamps because um, otherwise like green and yellow and red all get gross. So I typically t stick to blue <laughs> ink. Just a little fun fact. So, yes, all the things. So yeah, so put writing trays at your table, and if you're worried, put them in a pencil box. Oh, and the sand. I'm sure you guys are gonna ask about the sand. Oh, hold on. Okay, somebody said they're, um, they're okay, so I'm, I'm reading that everybody's ink pads dry up fast, so try those tricks to kind of save your ink pads. And I'm pretty sure that works for um, like the smaller ink pads too. But the sand, so sometimes the Target Dollar Spot has colored sand and I will buy it because it doesn't take very much. Um, Dollar Tree has sand in the craft section or you can dye salt um, or you can use sprinkles in the sand tray. Um, but to dye salt, all you do is put salt in a little baggie with liquid watercolor, shake, 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 and then lay it flat to dry and you have colored sand, but it's really salt. So yeah, so there is that idea for you guys for um, if you want to work on that, if they love sand trays and you want to put them at the writing table, this is a fun idea for you there. Um, you can tell we love pencil boxes. So another, oops, this one's broken. <laughs> yep. Oh well, it happens. So this is just kinetic sand. So kinetic sand is great for... Um, stamping letters so they can stamp the letters in the sand and what's great about put them in a writing um, putting this out they can you can have put the name cards at the top um, and how I introduce this is I'll put I'll if I have something new out um, at the writing table I'll put it up for like morning table time and I'll say oh I just, I'm putting this out at the writing table this week just so you guys know it's, oh, it's over there if you want to do it some more just to kind of like spark their interest and that way they know um, one how to use it appropriately so they're not you know just like you know throwing the sand around the classroom um, but they know kind of what it's for why it's over there how to use it all the things so yeah this is just kinetic sand and then the letter stamps and then this works great if you want to put a site, put like the little bucket of sight words. If you want to put letter cards in there, they can pick a letter and then stamp it. That's not the right letter, but you get what I mean. <laughs> or they can stamp each other's names, whatever they want to do. You can also too um, put letter cookie cutters in with these, with the kinetic sand too. That's really, really fun. So I, so I know a like, um, again, this is my pond math and literacy center pack. I have letter build it mats and um, letter build it like worksheets basically. So what you can do is put them in dry erase pockets and stick them in a book bin. And then in this bucket, ignore that it's a shamrock. <laughs> it was probably on clearance. Um, so what they would do is they would get this, their mat out and then the card is in the bucket. And they can even keep this stuff in here and they don't have to get everything out, but they can. So what they would do is pick a letter and then they build it with the manipulative and then write it down here. So basically I'm having a fun letter activity, but it's at the writing table because sometimes you just gotta mix it up because they get bored. Um, and especially right now, because like my kiddos, I don't think, I think we've been outside twice in a month and a half because of winter. So yeah, so these are perfect too. So put all your um, letter build it printables in dry erase pockets and just stick it in your writing center. Perfect, perfect. Somebody said um, you can also put um, writing sensory gel bags at the right, at the table. So you can totally do that too. That would be really fun to put in a little bucket and put at the table. The dry erase pockets I got from Amazon. They're actually cheaper if you get them on Amazon than in the Target dollar spot. They're a dollar a piece. So again, my Amazon store friends at the top of this post. So this is my St. Patrick's Day, um, one of my St. Patrick's Day sensory bottles because my kiddos this year are obsessed. So 
I'm trying to make sensory bottles for each theme for them, and I wanted to sneak in literacy, so I put some letter beads in here. And in my TPT store, they use this is a freebie. It's just a general letter hunt, so you can use it for any theme. But you could put out the letter hunt mat with the bottle. So that way it's just something, again, something different, something fun. They can find the letter and then trace it on the mat. And there are different levels. So that way if you have threes, do this one. If you have pre-K, do the one with upper and lower case. And then um, the little gold coins, or I think these are gold like gems. These are from Hobby Lobby, like the party section somebody said they found them in, or it, by the sequins. And then these are just letter beads, which you can find anywhere with pom-toms. So you can put letter sensory bottles at the writing table. Let's see what else I have for you. Oh, these are really fun. So if you have any of my letter build it mats, you can totally put that at the writing center too. These are the popsicle stick letter mat, but I just put all the manipulatives in here. I typically don't put any like um, pattern block or anything that takes up like a lot of space, but these would be perfect for over there. So that way, again, I have the sticks in here. So they would just take the sticks and make the mat, make the letter, and then they would say it, alligator, ah, and then they would trace it, and then erase, and then they can do another one. So again, these are the popsicle stick letter mats. Um, if you own the letter mat bundle, those are in there. But yeah, just put the sticks in a in a little bucket, and then put this there, and then you can put this at um, your writing table. Um, oh, and these little sticks. Um, these are the regular size popsicle sticks, and these are like the smaller ones, and they're right next to the popsicle sticks at like Michaels or a craft store. I don't think Target has them, but so yeah. Perfect for making letters. And then there's, um, if you, just so you know, there are uppercase and lowercase cards. You could also put these on a book ring too. Super simple, super fun. Keeping going with the letter building theme. So you could, rearranging, hold on one second. <laughs> you could also put Play-Doh letter mats in the writing center. Again, just put it in a, um, a book bin and they can get it out. These I have on a book ring. They can turn the letter they want and they can roll it and make the Play-Doh. You could even put a dry erase marker in here. So again, they're, they're working on letters, they're making letters, all at the writing table, just in a different way. Especially if you have kinesthetic learners that really love sensory, these um, are perfect, all the build it mats. And I did link the um, the mat to the top. Elizabeth said you can also build letters with wiki sticks. That would be super fun too. Um, if you or kiddos love mini erasers, put um, these um, make the letter mats. I want. Oh, in the Facebook group there are mini eraser letter mats as a freebie in the Facebook group. Um, so you can grab those and that's a freebie. Um, so it's in the Facebook group, Pocket of Preschool Facebook group in the files. So click on the files tab and you will see them. But these are just build it mats. The ones that are free are smaller, um, but you can take any mini eraser you want. We're doing pets. So I happen to have my pets out. Just put them in a bucket, in your buck, in your tub, and they can build the letter with the mini erasers. These are from Target, I wanna say like last year maybe. Um, but you can really get mini erasers on Amazon, Target Dollar Spot, all the places. Um, um, Kinder Crate has them in our, our boxes a lot. So does um, um, Oriental Trading has them as well. So you can have them build letters with whatever manipulatives you have if your kiddos love making letters that way. And, and again, just take this, put it at your writing table just as an option. Um, and once you put these different things in there, you're gonna see what your kiddos are playing with, what they're not. <coughs> 
they might start asking, oh, can you put that back at the writing table? Um, so they'll kind of tell you or you can just observe them and kind of um, kind of figure it out from there. Oh, I want to show you one more thing. So also in my writing center is, let me see, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. It's over here. But I'll just put it over here. So this is, this is from Lake Shore. It is a vertical writing space. So some of my kiddos who are not, like they could, if, if, if the writing table isn't their thing, they love writing on this vertical dry erase board. So in this little pocket, I have magnet letters. And then all I did, and I put different things on here just with tape. Like when I when we did spiders, I put, I made a spider web with tape. And they would pick a letter and they would put it on. This is obviously a dog house since we're doing pets. So they would pick a letter and then they can write it. Or, so this is, um, this idea is from Dr. Jean. I don't know if you remember, remember Who Let the Dogs Out song? She had a song called Who Let the Letter Out? And she had a little dog and um, all I did was hot glue a magnet to the nose. Um, these are like those Life of Pets things, I think, or like a Beanie Baby from um, like McDonald's, like as like a Happy Meal toy. Um, so since we're doing pets, I'm going to have those kind of right in here. I throw them. <laughs> so what they'll do is they'll take the little pet, and again, I just hot glued a magnet on his mouth. For this little one, though, I did have to cut her nose off. Otherwise, the magnet wouldn't stick. So if you have the little dog, and then they would pick a letter out. Well, of course, that one doesn't work. Why aren't they working? Why does this happen to me? <laughs> I had this great idea before. Okay, so you might have to use different letters. Hold on. I can reach. Okay. Apparently, my letters don't. I, I need to get different magnets, maybe. I don't know. There we go. Okay. It's, why does this happen? Live TV. Gotta love it. Okay. There we go. It's stuck. So apparently, I'm not, I can't use these. So I'll have to use some different magnet letters. Um, so I'll put magnet letters that stick to my magnets that I glued onto these little puppies. So they'll pick the letter up with the puppy and put it on, and then they can write the letter in the dog house. So with these little puppies, again, just from, they're from like Happy Meals um, from Walmart, <laughs> or from, from McDonald's, little Happy Meal toys. Again, this idea is from Dr. Jean forever ago, um, but super fun, and it just gets them riding on a vertical surface. And when they ride on a vertical surface, they are using their upper arms because they're riding up and they are um, having to sit up and just write in a different way. Um, but it works their arms and their upper, um, their upper shoulders, which they actually need all those muscles when they have to write regular like paper, pencil or on the, you know, on the table that way. So by writing on a vertical surface, they're using all those other muscles. But some kiddos, they just love writing on this, um, this whiteboard. Um, Kim said you can also use a magnet wand. Yes, you could. <laughs> Those might work better than my puppy. Just test your magnets before you glue them on your dogs. That's all. Um, and I know sometimes, um, see they stick together. I don't know what's going on with them. But, um, so Walmart always has sometimes like little, not Walmart, um, McDonald's has sometimes little beanie babies. Um, I love using them in the classroom. It's totally not about letters or the writing table, but they're so great to use for so many different things. And I love, <laughs> my kiddos love McDonald's. So anytime there's little beanie babies or little stuffed animal things, totally grab them because you can use them in the classroom for tons and tons of things. So yeah, so just glue some magnets on, pick a letter, and they can write it on their little dog house. So super fun. And just again, just another fun way to write. You can also um, really make anything just with tape on here. Like I said, I've done a spider web um, during like a spider theme. If you have done anything else with these, um, put it in the comments so we can um, grab your ideas too. You can make a, you could even take um, like paper and like contact paper and probably like stick one on or do like an apple tree for apples or 
you know, anything you want, put a sunshine on for weather, whatever you want to do. And just they pick a letter and then they write it. And it's just something fun and different, um, different ways to get them writing. So I hope you guys loved all of these fun ways to get kiddos writing at the writing center and to get them excited about going to the writing center. Um, so if you are excited, tell me one thing you're going to do or one thing you're going to add to your writing center in the comments. That way I kind of know what you're most excited about and you can tell everyone else what you're most excited about too. I'm going to push this up a little bit. Oos, um, Kimberly said make a garbage can on the vertical dry erase board for Earth Day and they can pick up a letter and put it on. You know what be really fun is if you hid the letters in newspaper and you crumbled them up in newspaper and then they had to like find all the letters and then put it up and then write it. That would be really, really fun. I love hiding letters and things like hiding letters in foil or different things too. Um, so yeah. So I hope you guys got tons and tons of new ideas. I hope you guys make your writing center amazing. And again, you don't have to do all of this. Just add one or try one thing. Try, you know, try, see what works for you guys and go from there. And you guys have an amazing day. Have an amazing night.